What's up, four stars? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to today's Tabata pop-up session. It's gonna be a good one. I'm going to roll through this workout efficiently. If you need to take a break, please take it, all right? Um, wanna make sure that we make it right, get it tight, and have fun doing so. So we're gonna start off with the warm-up. There's three different warm-up moves that we're gonna rotate through twice. We'll take a quick breather, go to our band hip mobility, and then keep rolling from there. So, to start things off, we're gonna do jumping jacks. Next will be high knees, and then following that is speed skaters. I'll show the high impact and low impact. Just follow along. Jumping jacks to start out. Here we go, and five, four, three, two, one, let's rock it. High impact is right here, low impact right here. Keep those knees just slightly bent for impact. Let's get ready to switch to high knees in three, two, one, begin. High impact right here or low impact right here. Whichever one works best for you. We're gonna switch side to side with speed skaters. Three, two, one, and begin. Step behind, arm goes across. You can jump for high impact, or you can step for low impact. Whichever one is gonna work for you. We're gonna go back through this, starting with jumping jacks. In three, two, one, let's switch it. Great job. We'll get ready to switch to high knees. In three, two, one, switch. Hopefully that body is starting to warm up. Feel that, that blood getting to those extremities. Let's get ready and switch. Finish it up with speed skaters. Three, two, one, let's go. Great job, finish through with this warm up. And time, great job. Yes, that was only the warm up, but it's gonna prepare us for this workout. Grab some energy water if you have it. Control your breathing, breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. So if you have your band, I want you to go ahead and grab that. Place it around those ankles, more so right above them. We're gonna take a focus on two different band moves, lateral moves and front to back moves, and then get into the Tabata routines. So, facing front, keep the feet at least hip width or shoulder width apart, and keep those knees slightly bent the entire time. We're gonna step out, back in, out, back in. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. As you're doing this, you're keeping those knees slightly bent. No standing up while you do this. Keep in a crouched position. And don't be shy to take big steps. That's the only way you're gonna help strengthen those hips. And relax, great job. I'm gonna face sideways for you, and we're going to go front to back. So, again, making sure that those feet stay at least hip width apart or shoulder width. Do not let them come any closer. We're gonna take big steps forward and big step back, all right? Keeping the chest slightly tilted forward, you don't have to keep it up right now. Tilt it forward and knees slightly bent in a crouch position. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Stay in that crouch position. And let's try to remind ourselves to keep our core, our core 
your part right here. Keep that and engage. Pull the belly button in towards your spine. That's gonna help with your balance and help you perform these exercises to follow even better. And time. Great job. Go ahead, take the band off. And before we get into the Tabata routine, we're gonna do a quick core exercise. We don't want to exclude any core, and we wanna make sure that we know how to engage it before we get into these actual strength and conditioning moves. So, we're going to take a seat, and we're going to do some planks. So, your plank can either be straight arm, let's lock those hips in, so tuck them in, as though you're squeezing your butt. You should feel like you're squeezing your butt while you're holding that. That way you can activate those lower abs. Or you can come down on your elbows, tuck the hips in. All right, we're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Sorry, not 10 seconds. You're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. And then after those 20, we're gonna take a seat. If you wanna use your one of your dumbbells, you're more than welcome. We're gonna do Russian twists. And I want you, if you have the dumbbell, tap to the floor. If it's just your hands, tap your hands to the floor. So we're gonna go 20 seconds of plank, rest for 10, 20 seconds of Russian play, uh, plank, Russian twist, and then we're gonna repeat that one more time and then get into the strength and conditioning. So starting off with the plank, either elbow or straight arm, let's do this. In three, two, one, and go. Locking those hips. Pull the belly button in. Make sure that you breathe. Do not hold your breath. Got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, let's take a seat. In that Russian twist, I want you to lean back just a tilt, chest up. Three, two, one, and again. Make sure you are twisting your torso. Let your torso follow your arms. Three, two, one, relax. All right, one more time in plank position. Yeah, nothing but the radio. Three, two, one, and let's go. Tuck it in. Tuck those hips in and tuck your belly button in toward the spine. Woo! Something about the plank that makes you sweat the most. And breaths. All right, last one, take a seat. Lean back just a tilt with your chest up and shoulders back. Three, two, one, and let's twist. Try to tap that floor. And let your torso follow your arms. Torso should not be staying in one place. It should be moving side to side. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Go ahead, slowly stand up. And if you got your dumbbells, go ahead and grab those. I'm gonna show you the four exercises that you're going to rotate through in your four minutes, all right? If you decide to use your dumbbells, let's make sure that it's quality control. Quality with the form, control with the weights. You can very well do this all body weight if you want to, okay? So for the first one, hang snatch. So, feet hip width apart, we're gonna come down to a squat with our chest up. So the hanging part, snatch part, right up over our head, nice and tall, all right? So in the 20 seconds, focusing on your form, up and over. Second one, we're gonna do squats. Don't care where your hands are for this one, whether it's shoulders or along the side or you don't use any weights at all. All I'm making sure you wanna do, push those hips back, and drop it like it's hot, all right? Push the hips back and tuck them in as you stand up. Try to keep that core pulled in as you go down in that squat. 
Number three, keep into a partial squat. My favorites are those jabs. The jabs are nice and quick, all right? Keep them at the armpits. Pop, pop. And then the last one is going to be a plank kickback, all right? A lot of us are familiar with these, but they're so good for you, all right? Make sure the wrists are underneath the shoulder, locking those hips, and you're gonna alternate 20 seconds. If you have a chair and you wanna do it at a higher elevation, go ahead. All right, time to get started. Four minutes, let's put the work in. Hang snatch. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one, let's move it. You do not have to come up onto your toes with this. All I want you to focus on, chest stays up when you go down into that squat, and then good arm extension as you come up over your head. Quality control. Rest. All right, however you wanna do your squat, wherever you wanna put the dumbbells on your hands. Three, two, one, begin. Keep that chest up, push that butt back as though you're trying to find a chair and tap your butt to the chair. And breath. All right, let's get into a partial squat, dumbbells or hands at your armpits. Three, two, one, let's go. Quick, quick jabs. Keep them parallel with your chest. Great job, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! And press, put your weights down, whether you're using the floor or the chair. Plank, kickbacks. In three, two, one, begin. Squeeze that butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you lift. I'm coming over to watch you. Lift those legs and squeeze that touch. Come on, give me five more seconds. Three, two, one, relax. All right, stand up. Back to the top, hang snatch. Woo wee! Here we go, four, three, two, one, begin. Hang, snatch. Now keep on going. I'm gonna make a little teaching point. When you go down into your squat, make sure that those knees stay aligned with those toes and they're not turning in, okay? Keep them nice and aligned. All the way through. And rest. All right, time for those squats. Stay sideways so you can see the form. Three, two, one, let's go. As many quality squats as you can. Make sure knees do not poke over your toes. And the way you do that is to push the weight onto your heels. And rest. All right, let's get into that stagnant squat. Arms ready, lock and loaded. Three, two, one, let's go, jab. If it don't challenge you, it ain't gonna change you. So don't be afraid just to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. Woo, almost there. And rest. All right, dumbbells down. Last one, plank kickback. Chair or on the floor. Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze and lift. Make sure that those hips are tucked in and they're not poked out. Tuck them in and kick. Great job, less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Great job, y'all. <laughs> Grab yourself some water really quick. We're gonna roll into round two. All right. So as you are catching your breath with that breathing technique, in through the nose, out the mouth. Here's your next four. We're gonna grab one dumbbell, hold it on each side. Keep 
in a crouched position, knees slightly bent. And we're gonna do those rainbows, thigh to thigh. So we're acting like our arms are a windshield wiper. All right, from the side, so you can see where my arms are being placed. That way you can feel it, not only in your core, but your arms. So from thigh, as you can see, it's still out in front of me, not behind me. Side to side. If you wanna slightly tap your thighs so that you know you're getting full range of motion, go ahead. But the increase in your speed when you do this is how you're gonna feel it. But I wanna make sure that you can control that, all right? Your second one, with both dumbbells, or you can do this body weight, keep feet right underneath your hips. We're gonna push those hips back and keep our back as flat as we can. Dumbbells or hands as close to the, arm, uh, the legs as you can. And then tighten that core, stand up. Go at a nice rhythm that you can sustain, all right? You should feel that all along upside your backside, your hamstrings up to your glutes. And the next one, working on a unilateral move for your lower body. You can do this with or without weights. Step it back, forward. Step it back, forward. For those with any knee problems, step back without too much knee bend. As you can tell, that front knee is still slightly bent, but the back knee does not drop all the way down. But enough where you can control it with your core. And the last one, feet hip width apart, tilt forward, speed row. Drive those elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades. All right, let's get ready to go. Starting with rainbows, just one dumbbell. Here we go, and three, two, one, begin. Nice swing, keep that belly button pulled in. Go at a speed that you can control. Fill this all up and down my arms and my shoulders and core. And rest. Grab the other dumbbell. We're gonna do RDLs. Bending down, coming up. Three, two, one, begin. You should be able to look straight forward as you do this. Put that weight on your heels. And rest. All right, with or without weight. Reverse lunges. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. For those who are able to bend the knees, nice and controlled. And if you need a slight modification, you're right here. Keeping your core in mind. And rest. All right. We're going to tilt forward. Dumbbells out in front of us and speed row. Three, two, one. Let's row. Row, row, row your boat. Get the downstream. Hey, man, man. Y'all know how to be playing. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades. And rest. All right, we're taking it back to the top. You only need one dumbbell, side to side rainbows. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten more seconds left. Stay focused on your form. Make sure those arms are staying out in front of you. And rest. All right, both dumbbells, RDL. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Flat back, push your weight onto your heels. So that means the hips are pushing back. Your head and your shoulders come forward. And rest. Third to last, reverse lunges. Here we go. Get in position. Three, two, one, begin. 
Great job. Bend the knees or slight step back. And breaths. All right, last one to finish out round two. So forward speed row. And three, two, one, let's go. Give me 10 more seconds. Drive those elbows back and squeeze those shoulder blades. Three, two, one, relax. Dumbbell clap for y'all. Great job. We're gonna finish out with one more round. No, no surprises, I promise, at least for this first one. No surprises. But I want you to give me your, whatever energy you got left in this round three. Round three is your combination round. So both round one and two mixed together. All right, finish from top to the end. Really focus on your quality reps in your 20 seconds because you're only gonna do that exercise once. So challenge yourself. I'm gonna motivate and encourage you, but finish all the way through the line. During the 10 second rest, I will ensure to make sure you know what exercise to get ready for since you've already done all eight of these exercises. All right, so we're gonna start with both dumbbells at hand. We're gonna do those jabs, all right? And I'll tell you what's next. Let's get that game face on, get ready, make it right, get it tight. Here we go, in five, four, Three, two, one, let's work. Keep those knees slightly bent. Core, nice and engaged. And quick, quick jabs. All right. Woo, woo. All the way through with every 20 seconds. And reps. All right, we're gonna go to those reverse lunges here for the next 20 seconds. Let's do it. And three, two, one, let's go. Give me 10 more seconds. You can step straight back without bending, giving too much bend in the knees, whichever one's gonna work. And rest, put your weights down. Either use the chair or the floor, kickbacks. Alternating kickbacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Kick it. Great job. I know you may be feeling this. Those arms are shaking, that core is shaking, but you've got this. Finish all the way through. Three, two, one, relax. All right, let's hustle up, grab your dumbbells. We got speed rope right here. Three, two, one, let's go. Go, 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 go. Squeeze those shoulder blades, drive those elbows back. 10 more seconds. Control your breathing and rest. Squats. Squats are next for our next full 20. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Push those hips back, keep that chest up. Give me 10 more seconds. Do a break. And rest. All right, we're gonna do those tilts, RDLs. Focus on that back side. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Make sure to keep that back as straight as you can without hunching. You don't wanna hunch forward. 10 seconds left. And rest. Second to last one, y'all. Hang snatch. Hang, bring it up over. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Hang, snatch. Go at your own speed. I 
want you to go at your own speed that you can control each rep. And time. Next one, we got a last one. I ain't gonna say time. We got those rainbows. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Last one, good one. Keep those knees slightly bent. Core nice and tight. Swing those arms. Five to five. Three, two, one, and done. Hoo wee! Give yourselves a round of applause. Did wonderful in this Tabata pop-up. Please make sure to tell your friends and family, don't be afraid of a little challenge. 30 minutes goes by very quickly and you get a lot from it. But before we finish out, let's just do a quick stretch. Get those muscles back into starting position so that they're not too tight. All that good stuff. So let's lie down, breathe through the nose and out the mouth. Grab that knee, tuck it in towards you. Love on that leg. We're only gonna do a couple leg stretches and just maybe one arm stretch and get you out of here. Now, whichever leg you are currently stretching, we're gonna take that leg and pull it across. Bring those arms out to a T, and then I want you to look the opposite way your leg is. That way, you can get a nice stretch along your torso and down your leg. But if your chest and shoulders are tight, you may feel that as well. And just relax into it, don't fight it. I want you to slowly pull that knee back in, come back into resting place, and do the other side. Drive that knee toward you, love on that leg. Heart rate should be coming down by now. We're gonna take that leg, pull it across the body, extend those arms into a T position, and look the opposite way.